In New York City's Macy's, you'll find Miracle on 34th Street decorations. Just like in the 1947 and 1994 films of the same name. Now, let's meet with Agent Mike once again in Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer, Christmas Cavalcade 2 Global Holiday. Welcome back to Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer's Christmas Cavalcade 2 Global Holiday. Let's continue. Before we continue on reviewing more movies and TV specials and holiday TV shows, here are some selected holiday episodes for you to check it out. And also, Tupu's Christmas episode. In recess, yes, Mikey, Santa does shave. We see dancing reindeer and the birth of Christ, and a Kwanzaa person, and even Harvey Hanukkah. <laughs> All played by the Recess Gang, and Mikey sang White Christmas, voiced by Robert Goulet. In Pepper Ann, a very kosher Christmas, Pepper Ann not only celebrates Hanukkah, but also Christmas as well. <laughs> now that's kind of fun. In Franklin's Magic Christmas, Franklin and Harriet have the best Christmas of all. Spending Christmas with their grandparents and even riding on Santa's sleigh to retrieve Sam the plush. In Charlie and Lola's Christmas, Charlie, Lola, and their friends celebrate Christmas by being carolers and seeing Christmas presents under the tree delivered by Father Christmas. In Paw Patrol, Pups Save Christmas, Ryder and his team of pups save Christmas after Santa's sleigh was knocked out by a storm, and they help Santa restore the sleigh and his reindeer. And I love the way how the pups rode on Santa's sleigh. It's a Merry Christmas to them. In B.B. Blocksburg, the German animated series, B.B. and her friends saw the three Santas, and they use magic to set things right. Well, sometimes. Even B.B. Blocksburg herself met with Santa Claus, and he wished her a magical Merry Christmas. I hope this would come to the United States someday. In PJ Masks, Gecko saves Christmas. Catboy Gecko and Owlet takes a break from fighting Luna Girl and explain what Christmas is all about to deliver presents to the city in every place. After a while, they put a star up on the tree and of course they skate on an ice and they wished each other a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. <laughs> Even PJ Masks really catch their snowflakes with their tongue at night. <laughs> they couldn't wait till Christmas morning, <laughs> even though they couldn't wear superhero pajamas during the day because that would be impossible. Anyway, in Zack and Quack Christmas episode, The Christmas Letter, Zack, Quack, and all their friends Help Santa to save Christmas by delivering presents to the pop-up city. And pop-up villages too. They even have the pop-upiest time of the year. Zack and Quack wishes each other a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Wow. In Tupu, the Christmas episode, Norton goes with Tupu to Santa Claus along with their squirrel friend, What's Up, to prove what Merry Christmas is all about in New York City. Wow, even Tupu is still a wild child in the winter weather up on the tree with the leaves that fell. But of course, Santa thanks Norton and Tupu and they have themselves a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. It's Christmas time, 
at Stella and Sam's Backyard Meadow, where Sam builds a snowman, as well as Stella and Sam and their friend, goes to the North Pole throughout the Backyard Meadow. Remember back that I reviewed Stella and Sam years ago? <laughs> wow, they even love the winter weather by ice skating and building a snowman and going to the North Pole as previously mentioned in my review. Wow, even Stella and Sam deserves a holiday episodes too. Isn't it so awesome? But I'm gonna tell you right now. In Santa's hat, Felix, dressed up as Santa Claus as Stella, Sam, and Owen find Santa's hat. And keeping a secret, they knew that Felix is Santa Claus, dressed up of course. And in Make It Snow, we see the snow globe that Sam shakes and even sees snow in the snow globe. <laughs> I even have a Washington DC snow globe as well. But hey, Stella, Sam, and Owen wants to make it snow. Like in the episode to the North Pole, they go up and then come back down and it was snowing for real. Let's hear what Stella, Sam, and Owen has to say to us on this holiday. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. A Christmassy. Merry Christmas. From Stella and Sam and their friends, Happy Holidays. Back to you, Agent Mike in New York. There you go, that's the selected TV shows with holiday episodes in it. And now as we continue on in New York City to review some more holiday movies. Hey, what's going on? New Yorkers say it was a Christmas blackout. So, the Happy Elf should be alright. He's at the North Pole, so... Why don't we go see him? And we'll meet you back here later. I'm okay, Agent Mike. <laughs> it was a problem with the blackout. And speaking of blackouts, do you know about a young girl named Sophiana? Well, she's out there to save Christmas for everyone in Christmas is Here Again. Take a look. It all started where the elves found out that Santa sack was stolen. You know, the Santa sack was made by a clothing of Jesus Christ, and it was Craig, the villain, who stole Santa sack. Meanwhile, at the orphanage, Sofiana saves the caterpillar, and the bullies threw a snowball at her and takes away her cane, and she gets the cane like from the branch of the tree, which led to Miss Doughty upset with Sofiana that it wouldn't prove her courage. So she sends Sofiana to her room, and Sofiana ever see that she will have a loving family of her own. And she looks at her locket with her old family as she really, really wants the family of her dream. The next day, Sofiana and the orphanage children met with a nice woman named Victoria. As Victoria talks to Sofiana and the orphanage children that it is easy to dream of what they want to be when they grow up. That they can do things like a baker, a police officer, or a magician, anything they want to. Sofiana escapes from the orphanage without noticing and she cries on the steep hill and frees Paul Rocco, the elf who was trapped in the ice. He thanks Sofiana for rescuing him and she follows him to the home of Santa Claus where Santa happily sees Rocco the elf back alive again. Inside, Sofiana met with Mrs. Claus Annoyingly, it was Victoria Claus all along 
that she met her earlier in the orphanage. And there, Sofiana met with the other elves and discuss about the stolen Santa sack. And it was Cray who did it. She looks at the display case and notices that the sack was stolen. And so she agrees to go with Rocco to save Santa sack. Along the way, they met with Dart, the baby reindeer, who is trying to fly. And he follows with them to a place where Craig's lair was hidden. Along the way, they met with Buster, who was the sly fox, and Charlie, who was the polar bear. They would be happy to help Sofiana, but in exchange, Sofiana has to give her locket to Buster, and Buster agrees to follow him to Craig's hideout entrance and notices a room full of diamonds and gems. And they fell down into a lava pit and eventually they reach a room where Santa's sack was kept. When they take the Santa sack, the alarm went off and it was Craig's minions try to stop them, but ultimately they dodged them and eventually met with Craig. Which of course, uh, he was astounded that they took the Santa sack and they put them in the dungeon. Luckily, Buster helps them escape from the dungeon and puts his sack of money in exchange for Santa's sack, and Sofiana flies with Dart and throws coal over at Craig and his minions, eliminating them once and for all. Buster returns the locket to Sofiana. Sofiana returns the Christmas sack to Santa, and he is so thankful that Christmas can be restored. Sofiana really asks Santa that she wants a family of her own, which Santa tries to agree with her. Everyone out there, say the magic words for the Christmas magic to come back. Abracadabra, Kins and Kanjin, bring us back Christmas magic. Hex, Hex! Yay! It's back! Christmas magic is back! Let's continue reviewing Christmas is here again! Yes indeed, Christmas is here again, and Christmas holiday has been restored to every place around the world. Remember that caterpillar that Sofiana saved? She turns it into a butterfly named Violet. She thanks Sofiana for looking after her and she flies away. Miss Dowdy shows Sofiana her new family, Santa Claus and Victoria Claus. She is so happy as Miss Dowdy gives her a new cane as a Christmas present and Sofiana hugs Miss Dowdy knowing that there is a change of heart. And Sofiana lived happily with her new parents, and she helps them celebrate a Merry Christmas. What I like about this movie is that it is so awesome animation to what Renegade could do, and it is perfect for those who wish to believe in Christmas and it is easy to dream. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie 7.5. If you love Christmas, then this movie is a must-see. And now it's time for me to take a break and come back here later. So I'm going to be going over to Christmas Town in Seattle to talk about some three exciting specials and films. <laughs> All right, Happy Elf, take me to Christmas Town in Seattle. Abracadabra, let's send now. Take us to Christmas Town. Hex-Hex! Whee! So tell me, Happy Elf, where is Christmas Town? Located in Washington State, southeast of Seattle. Oh, I see a welcome sign. Hang on, Mike, we're coming in for a landing. You got it. Whoa! Hey! Boy, here I am once again in some cold weather clothing, and I'm in Christmas Town, Washington. That's right, Christmas Town. Oh. 
This is where the film Switchmas ah. takes place. And it's so beautiful. Like the mayor of Christmas Town says, enjoy your holiday shopping because Christmas comes but once a year. That's right. Here are some exciting holiday <laughs> movies and specials for you that I'm going to be talking about with my happy elf here, of course. That's right. So, happy elf, why don't you uh, review one of the holiday movies that was aired on PBS Kids years ago? You know, about a four-year-old boy. Would you like to know more about Christmas history? And would you like to hear a four-year-old boy who likes to help out Santa? And who comes up with his imagination all the time for the holidays? Well, with my Elf's Magic, I'm going to show you Caillou's Holiday Movie. Caillou's Holiday Movie. By the way, no bad comments, please. In Caillou's Holiday Movie, Caillou, a four-year-old boy, loves to play with his friends Clementine, Sarah, and Leo. For the holidays, Caillou wants to have a best Merry Christmas of all. And he wants to enjoy Christmas all around him and his family and friends. Of course, Caillou really needed something like writing Christmas cards to his friends and Caillou's daddy showed him the advent calendar and on the first window he opened it tells a story about Christmas trees in Germany the evergreen trees about a young boy named Fritz picked the tree that has needles and celebrated Christmas with decorations at his house with his family Yes, indeed. Evergreen trees were originated from Germany as Caillou and his family picked out the best Christmas tree at Jonas's farm. <laughs> and Caillou decorates and puts a star up on the tree with his sister Rosie. In Mexico, as Caillou's mommy told the story to him, they call it Feliz Navidad. <laughs> That's a Mexican Christmas with Papa Noel as Santa. The next day, Caillou gives toys to the toy drive at a fire station, which of course Rosie put things that is not toys, which make Caillou laugh. <laughs> In England, children at school wrote letters to their families, and that's how Christmas cards got started, and people from around the world decided to share it as well. Caillou tries not to be a Mimi boy as he wrote the things he wants for Christmas a lot and until eventually he wants a space station. So he mails Christmas cards and a letter to Santa Claus. And Caillou's mommy showed Caillou the post office of how things work. In a country called Turkey, which housed St. Nicholas, the originated Santa, leaves gifts for the families that are poor and decide to give kind and thankful to everyone. And they saw the Christmas parade, and Caillou asked Santa that he wants a space station for Christmas. In Russia, the Santa's name is Diet Maros, meaning Father Frost, who brings children Christmas presents. In Russia, of course. <laughs> There's a lot of places around the world that is part of Global Holiday. Caillou and Leo play hockey together, and Caillou played the dreidel game in Leo's house as Leo is Jewish who is celebrating Hanukkah. And of course, Caillou understands Hanukkah is a different holiday as well. Caillou's grandma came over for a visit and Caillou and grandma baked Christmas cookies to deliver to her friends at a retirement home or the old folks home. After all, what more fun giving presents and goodies to everyone. In France, Holland, and Italy, they leave shoes out like stockings in the fireplace, too. In Sarah's Christmas performance, Caillou takes over the person and they perform well. 
and Caillou and his family get together for Christmas dinner, and they went out caroling, and they received presents, and they wish them a Merry Christmas. What I like about this holiday movie is different holiday cultures and different Santa names and different places around the world told the story to Caillou by his parents. And after all, it's so much fun. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this 7.5. This holiday movie is so much fun, especially if you're a fan of Caillou. And now, in this next holiday film that I'm going to be reviewing hey, is... Like? The... Wait a minute. Wait. How about you should talk about Hanukkah? You want me to talk about Hanukkah? Yep. Sure thing! <laughs> Let's go to Jerusalem to find out how people celebrate Hanukkah. In Jerusalem, at the Millennium Mall, everyone celebrates Hanukkah in their own Israeli style. Walking on stilts <laughs> is so much fun. And everywhere you go, you'll find menorahs in every place. In Jewish synagogues, shuls, everywhere. Of course, in the old city of Jerusalem, they have menorahs in the Jewish quarter as well. Everyone gathers around the Western Wall or the Kotel to celebrate Hanukkah in Israeli style. Check out this clip from Lincoln Road in Miami Beach where they have a menorah made of shells was there during the holidays every year. Now let's head on back to Christmas Town to meet with Agent Mike. Thank you so much for that Hanukkah information. And now without any further ado, here's this next holiday movie to review which is about a Christmas-obsessed Jewish boy named Ira Finkelstein, who really loves Christmas so much. So here it is, Switchmas. <laughs> In Switchmas, a.k.a. Ira Finkelstein's Christmas, Ira Finkelstein, who's a Christmas-obsessed Jewish boy, celebrates Christmas in style, but his parents told him that they are Jewish and he is Jewish and they don't celebrate Christmas. After a lot of discussion, Ira's parents sent Ira to visit his grandparents in Florida. Of course, Ira has good dreams about celebrating Christmas, of course, he has to change planes in Chicago as he met with another boy that almost looks a lot like him. His name is Mikey. They discuss a lot of things about visiting grandparents in Florida and visiting his cousins in Christmastown. They agree to switch places and they trade places so that Mikey can go to the Florida and Ira can go visit Christmastown. And of course, Mikey, who dressed up as Ira, meets with... Ira's grandparents! Wow, I even love Elliot Gould, a Jewish actor who is also voiced as Ron Stoppable's father from Kim Possible. Ira, dressed up as Mikey, meets with Mikey's cousins and they welcomed him to Christmas Town in Washington State. When Ira sees Christmas Town out of the car window, he thought everything looks like from the movie. Ira sees snow and plays with it, making snow angels as he enjoys the snow and loves Christmas. While Mikey, dressed up as Ira, enjoys with Ira's grandparents and celebrated Hanukkah. Which is, of course, uh, Ira's grandparents and their friends sang it in Yiddish. When Ira, who looks like Mikey, also celebrates Hanukkah in his own way, seeing Christmas at the same time. The Christmas Town Parade was a hit as Ira sees Santa Claus on a float, and he really cheers on and adores them, like Mikey's cousins also enjoys it too. After he gave $30 to the older one, he decides to use a credit card to buy the things Christmas, buying some clothes, decorating the gingerbread house, and riding on a one-horse open sleigh, or two horses, whichever we call, 
and a menorah for his own. When he sees Jack the Jerk, he throws the menorah in the garbage and damages the gingerbread house as Ira, who's the fear of dogs, makes a run for it, thought he was banished from Christmas Town until he hides in the tree. When he arrived back after the coast is clear and picks up a menorah from the trash, he met with a Jewish Santa named Marty Lekowitz, which gives some Jewish tidbits and fun facts of Jewish people contributed Christmas over the years. There, Libby, who was Mikey's cousin, shows Ira a stage in the Christmas Town City Hall, and Ira, dressed up as Mikey, decided to write a script called Christmas is for Everyone, which is also includes the song. And rehearsals are well went underway as Ira directs them to have the best Christmas performance in Christmas Town. Mikey decided to take a free fall and hurts himself. And everything goes smoothly and they hand out flyers to come to the Christmas performance in the Christmas Town City Hall. When Jack the Jerk rejects the dog by his father, Ira renames the dog Mistletoe. As Ira's parents sees Mikey, aka Ira, dressed up, it was not Ira, and Mikey decides to call Christmas Town, and everything in the stage is messed up in the Christmas Town City Hall, and Ira stood up to Jack the Jerk to set things right, in which he agrees upon. And the performance day arrives as Ira's parents arrive and Mikey's mother arrive, and they enjoy watching Christmas is for everyone. And everyone cheers as Ira had the best Christmas of all. What I like about this holiday special is combining both Christmas and Jewish and Hanukkah together, called Chrismaka. After all, a Jewish Christmas obsessed boy really likes to have the best Christmas of all. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie an 8. This holiday movie is a must-see for people who celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah. Isn't it so adorable? <laughs> the kids at Christmas Town will be singing for the memorable moment later on in this program. And now, this next holiday film, which is made by the same company, Family Home Entertainment, and Hyperion Studios, you know, uh, Jingle Bells and Oh Christmas Tree. Yeah, that's right. It's called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Take it away. In this holiday classic, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, a reindeer tells the story about a town called Harmony. That's right. Remember back in my previous holiday special where I reviewed Jingle Bells? Well, this is a time for me to talk about this holiday film. In the town of Harmony, everybody loves to give presents to each other on Christmas. Especially those living in Harmony. In Mr. Ryan's orphan house, where the children receive presents, and Mr. Ryan's best children, Ted, Cindy, and Ollie, work hard for Mr. Ryan and knows how to clean circular motion and everything in between. Then, when they receive presents from different people in Harmony, they ask them, are they gonna give them something? and they immediately agree to come up with something as they decorate the Christmas tree and leaving presents underneath the tree for them to open on Christmas Day. Wow, Ted, Cindy, and Ollie are hardworking children helping the orphanage children decorating for Christmas in the orphan's house. Actually, it was Mr. Ryan's orphan's home. Of course, uh, they come up with a plan how they're going to deliver the people of Harmony a Merry Christmas in return for the gifts they receive. 
They tried shoveling the snow in the front of the home and everywhere in between, and they clean the attic until they find a musical sheets with a xylophone as they're trying to play and come up with a holiday tune to give people harmony something. And of course, Mr. Ryan thanks him for cleaning the attic and asks it's time for bed, but the children decided to come up with a tune to deliver the people of harmony a Merry Christmas. When Mrs. Claus came to Ryan's orphan home, she talks to Ted, Cindy, and Ollie to look inside in their own hearts and follow them and give the people of harmony of what they wanted in return for the holiday gifts as mentioned. This song, Look Inside in Your Own Heart, is so adorable and so classical. And of course, uh, they try to come up with a tune and eventually they call it, We Wish You a Merry Christmas as they play and sing together. And they show it to Mr. Ryan as he was amazed and found out that the children came up with a great idea and invites the rest of the orphanage children to sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas to everyone around Harmony. Of course, we will be singing this song later on in this program. The people of Harmony really like the way how Mr. Ryan's orphans sang to them in a gleeful, happily tune in which they all cheered and they wished them Merry Christmas in return. And so the song was given to every resident of Harmony and they join in and singing it too. What I like about this holiday movie is the sharing and giving and joyfulness and singing of Christmas like Christmas carolers. After all, it is so much fun singing with them. So on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give this movie 8.5. This movie is definitely a must see for everyone. And now, let's all sing along to We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Hit it! All right, everyone. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your men. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us a piggy pudding. Now bring us a piggy pudding. Now bring us a piggy pudding and bring it right here. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new Stay right here, folks, because there's a lot more Christmas Cavalcade Global Holiday Fun coming right up. Coming up next, Agent Mike will go to Sydney, Australia, and to review the animated holiday TV series made by Galmont Alphanine Animation called Santa Apprentice. This is so awesome. Then he will review the full-length movie Santa's Apprentice which of course is a more or less of a prequel and a remake from the original animated TV series. And then Agent Mike will go over back to New York City to talk about Yes, Virginia. Wow, I like Virginia and Ollie. And then he'll review Little Spirit Christmas in New York and the lighting of the Rockefeller Plaza Christmas tree. And then he will review the 2005 Mondo TV animated film, Christmas in New York. As Agent Mike's movie TV show reviewer, Christmas Cavalcade 2 Global Holiday comes right back.